down today and we are doing a brand new sims for our credit sim video today and so today is definitely going to be a really great day just because i'm excited to say that i'm finally pre-recording for ea play that happens in two weeks by the time you're probably seeing this video i'm already at ea play or i have probably already left because i don't know when i'm actually going to schedule this video however this sim has to be one of my favorite sims i've ever created in my entire life because I kid you not, I made The Sim five months ago, December 28th, 2018, and I don't know why it's been sitting in my photo for that long, but here it is now, servicing on YouTube for your eyes to see and comment about and, you know, love her or hate her however you want to, because I'm about to spill some tea about this Sim, jo Justina Joyer, and she's not full of joy. No, no, no. Her last name is this is a little con. It's a little bit of a play play on words, thinking that she's a nice sim, but she really isn't. She's like one of the worst sims I've ever like actually experienced in like playing and getting to know and like playing through her life and everything like that. And her family, oh, her family is something else. Like her family is actually insane. Well, I think they're insane. They're probably, they're not that bad. I'm exaggerating a lot. They're not that bad. They're okay, but they have some issues when it comes to Justina's choices, her lifestyle, how she does things to make a living, like, you know, stuff like that, basically. But to be honest, though, I hope you guys really enjoy, enjoy her story because I really want to tell it to the best of my ability, but also kind of just tell you, like, how I really feel about, you know, custom content, how is like going to make her over and see how, you know, stuff happens. And the cool thing about this is actually she's a randomized um townie so like if you go into create a sim like you start a new game or you just hop into cas automatically you will notice there are actually like randomized already sim townies in create a sim which is super cool and i love it so i've already actually made over three of them i did a sim that was named emily briggs this one is Justina Joyer, and I believe I did another one. I forget if I did. I know I did a male sim and two female sims. I've already done one male and one female. This is the second female one, and I have a lot more to go because let me tell you, I've saved them all to my gallery, and they they are actually looking really, really good. I forgot to breathe for a hot second. I've been talking and not breathing for two minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um. Anyway, like I said, I personally think that was Justina Joyer. She's had a good life. She really had a good life when she was growing up back in the day, like when she was like first born, leading up until she was like 15 years old because her father went into the military, he got deployed, he went out, you know, overseas and it was just her, her mother and her little brother, Sam. And so those three alone were like struggling to like figure out what they're really going to do. The mom went into like a little sad, deep depression for a hot moment, got back, got better. And then she's like doing all right. But then kind of went on a downward spiral, midlife crisis, you know, husband died after being in the military. Like, you know, it's like the whole thing is like resurfacing again in Justina's like life. Because when she became 15 years old, that was the moment when she felt like that she could not live in a household in the household anymore after her father left for the military but then later found out that he like died when he was overseas and when her mom was going through like you know depression and midlife crisis and stuff like that life changes like her, in her midlife crisis her mom literally almost like i wouldn't technically sold her child she kind of just casually put her her son's sam on a random doorstep and was like walked away because she couldn't deal with it anymore and i think that was like in the moment where justina thought you know what maybe this is not the best idea to live with her in the current state and she went ahead and actually got emancipated to live by herself as like a full-grown adult at age of 15. so when she did that she got it she got the papers all settled in ready to go and she actually moved to the city of San Myshuno for a couple of years. And that's when she actually met one of her other friends. I forget what his name is. I think his name is actually Rick Ricardo. Not sure. Forget. It's been a while. It's been like five months. Give me some space. Give me some slack. But her friend, um, Rick, we're going to call him Rick. Rick Ricardo. 
and they kind of met when they were in San Machino. They lived together for a couple of months. After a while, they moved. He moved out. She stayed. And after a couple of years, until she became like 19 years old, she left that area and moved back to Newcrest, where her mother and her and her son, not her son, her brother were living. But she didn't move back into their house. She actually found this like abandoned, rundown house in the middle of Newcrest. And the cool thing about this is that you guys actually built an abandoned house for this little club that I called the, I think they were called the Lancers or whatever. I forget what the, the club name was called, but she's actually currently living with two other people that she literally does not know, but she has a past of gambling, being non-committal, but also stealing, conniving, and manipulating people for money to survive in the world where she lives in now. And at the age of right now, of 21, she lives with two other people, and it's an abandoned house that has been run down for over 70 years, 70, 70 years, and they make their money by stealing and conning people out of their money, manipulating, and robbing banks and it's not fun and Justina never really wanted to live that life but she had to do something in order to like make a living and sustain her you know her lifestyle that she wants to live and her lifestyle is basically literally conning people for their money she's using her good looks her charm her you know lovely lovely luscious curves that she has to manipulate other people and it's kind of sad but you know it's the way she lives and it's okay for her and it's okay with her friends and they love they run a club together i'm using the get together system the club system that they have and i love it and the interactions that they use is crazy and so it's been about like since she was like 21 she yeah at the age of 21 she joined two other people to live with her in the abandoned house and right now, five years later, she's 26 right now, still doing the exact same thing. She has not been caught. Well, well, at age 23, she did get arrested. <laughs> she got arrested for, um, you know, robbing a bank, robbing a bank and, um, you know, lovely time stealing from her own mother, like stealing from her own mother in the, in her own house. And Sam was already, already gone. He went off to college and whatnot. He like, he just, he left. He has a different life now. But the mom stayed in the house and like stuff was still looking the same before, after she left. And she just stole from her parents or stole from her mom. And life as we know it, that's when she got arrested. <laughs> she she got caught for um, robbing a bank. She got away with that. But then they later found out who she was when she uh, got arrested again, like got caught a second time or the first time technically for robbing her own parents house so she went to jail for like a year she came she got out you know on good behavior and now she's still doing the exact same thing so it's like a recurring cycle of her you know crime you know manipulating and conning people out of their money and you know stealing out of like who knows what but she has a reason because she's pregnant so by one of her friends that she lives with. And let's just say that um, this person that she's having a kid with was a mistake. Like one night stand using the Simda dating app by Little Miss Sam used that one time. Didn't figure out she was pregnant until like literally three days prior, oh, three days later when I found out, got a notification saying, Justina is pregnant. I'm like, wait, what? How is she pregnant? So. She got pregnant and um that was that that's the case and that happened and so now she's like really trying to survive and take care of herself but also the baby but also trying to like make a living and she's having second second thought of like actually leaving the club and really settling down with her own like clean sustaining nice good good life even though she's non-committal she doesn't really want to like be with anybody but herself and just care for herself and her child. And I believe she can really do it. And she also has like the aspiration of becoming a well round, well known, um, I think gem collector. It's, it's the aspiration that came with jungle adventures. It's that aspiration that she wants to uh, one day complete for herself and maybe possibly open her, open up her own museum for the things that she has air quote found 
and we don't know like the, the people when she ever actually opens up the museum they won't know that it's been found by her they, well they won't know it was stolen they'll just know oh nice art and you know it just takes one person one person to realize that wait a minute I remember this person. I remember this piece. This piece was actually in my house. So whenever she gets to the point in that time where she gets caught for the third time, she might lose her child. She might go to jail. The child might go into um, foster care for who knows how many years. But the time, only time will tell. And that's pretty much it. And that's the tea. You know, secret pregnant. Well, technically secret pregnancy until I found out. Um, crime. Um, stealing jail it's like she went from a good life to a very horrible life and now she wants to turn her life around for the sake of her own child but i really don't know if she's really gonna actually turn her life around or go in the same actual path her mother did where she goes to um not technically selling her baby like just giving away her baby not into foster care but leaving the child on a doorstep for money and that's kind of what her mom did like if she's gonna be like her like i how do I explain it? She doesn't want to be like her mom where she gave away Sam for money. But then later on, the police found out, gave back Sam to the actual house and gave her mom a warning for the first offense. Like, sounds crazy, right? Giving away your child for money sounds crazy. You would think that he would go into foster care, but no, Justina came to the rescue, took him back. So that happened so she doesn't want to go in the same situation that her mom went but i'm not sure how that will work because the life that she lived in the past and like in the present so life as we know it might not turn well or be good for justina but that's the tea that's the story hope it made sense hope you liked it let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments down below and what do you think Justina is going to be like in the future? Will she be a good mother for the sake of her child? Or will she go into the same dark, sad, you know, you know, life, lifestyle that her mom went through after her husband died in overseas? You don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. But either way, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.